nation after Ibrahim alayhi salam was wiped out in entirety. Subhanallah. This is from the, the blessings of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And once again we say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us with him in Jannah. They understood, O oh servants of Allah, that you know what? We're not supposed to live life till the grave. We need to live life till beyond the grave. Excuse my English, but it sounds nice. We need to live life till beyond the grave. This is the reality of a believer. When you take a step in this dunya, ripples should happen in your akhirah. Because as a Muslim with Iman, you are connected to your akhirah. You, there's a connection. There's a connection. Just like when you, when you throw a stone into a pond and the ripples move to the end of the pond, you know that there's a connection between that end of the pond and this end of the pond. Why? Because the ripples from this end reach the other end. And it's amazing. The, the fuqaha discussed this long time ago. Some of the scholars uh, used to say that we know a large quantity of water by looking or by throwing something into the pond. If the ripples reach the other end, we say it's a small quantity of water. And if impurities fell, fell into this end of the pond, then we say the other end of the pond has received the impurity as well. Amazing, the scholars of the past. But coming back to our discussion, we should live our life in this world connected to our hereafter. When we speak, movement should happen in our Jannah. When we eat, movement should happen in our Jannah. When we work, movement should happen in our Jannah. When we worship, movement should happen in our Jannah. When we walk, movement should happen to our Jannah. A sign that we are connected. We are connected to our paradise. We live life till beyond the grave. We understand that Allah increases for the one who thanks him. And it's not only an increment specific to the paradigm of this dunya. Rather, it surpasses the dunya. For when Allah increases for us, our Jannah is also becoming beautiful. This is what it is, O servants of Allah and O children of Adam. When you say, Alhamdulillah, it's not a matter of your one Ring it becoming two in this dunya. It's also a matter of your one tree becoming two in Jannah. May Allah grant us the highest stages of Jannah. Ameen. Ameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, with regards to substantiating what I've just said, la in shakartum la azidannakum. That if you are thankful, Allah will increase for you. If you are thankful, Allah will increase for you. I have five minutes left, my dear brothers and sisters. I want to share with you a little bit about the ayat I read at the beginning of this talk. Ayat from Surah An-Naml. Ayat from Surah An-Naml. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we certainly gave Dawood and Sulaiman knowledge. And when we gave them this gift, they said, praise is due to Allah. They thanked Allah, who has favored us over many of his believing servants. And then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to mention, because of the thanks of Sulaiman, greater gifts which Allah gave him. The gift of having control over the dominion. Allah made the birds subservient to Sulaiman and made the jinn subservient to, Sul uh, to Sulaiman alayhi salam. And not just any jinn, O servants of Allah. Jinn that could bring an entire throne from a distant land to Sulaiman alayhi salam quicker than the blink of an eye. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. This is what Allah gave Sulaiman control over. He was a thankful slave. And Sulaiman or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about Sulaiman and what Allah gave him in that Allah subhanahu or Sulaiman one day went out on a journey with his army and they walked across a valley of ants. And an ant saw Sulaiman and his army. And the ant said, Oh, ants, enter your home so that Sulaiman and his army do not trample over you whilst they perceive not. How amazing was that for Sulaiman to hear? That was another gift from Allah to him because of his gratitude. But what does he say, Subhana Rabbi Al A'la? He smiles. He smiles when he hears this ant saying what it said. And he knows that this is from Allah's gifts upon him. That he could hear what this ant said. And he says, alayhi salam, My Lord, 
enable me to be grateful for your favor, which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do righteousness of which you approve and admit me by your mercy into the ranks of your righteous servants. La ilaha illallah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala later tells us that Sulaiman alayhi salam says, after the jinn brought this mighty throne quicker than the blink of an eye, he says alayhi salam that this is from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon me to test me, <coughs> to test me whether I will be thankful or whether I will be ungrateful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being ungrateful, O servants of Allah. Let us live our life till beyond the grave. And let us be thankful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the waking of every day and the sleeping of every night. And before ending off, O servants of Allah and O children of Adam, I would like to celebrate a hadith of thanks in the sunnah with you all. And that is the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said, Man la yashkurillah, or man la yashkurin nas la yashkurillah, that the one who cannot thank the people cannot thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. That if you want to thank Allah, become a person who thanks other people. Because thanking people is from the lesser thanks. And if you fail with the lesser thanks, then you will definitely fail with the greater thanks. And that is when you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So from this podium, in a conference that is very emotional for me, being a director of Mercy Mission, and that this conference has happened many times in many countries in the world, but believe it or not, this is the first time I've attended a Twins of Faith conference. And, so, and that's why I was telling the brothers, mashallah, that Malaysia has been sweet. It's been sweet, mashallah. <laughs> From the outset, O servants of Allah, in celebrating this hadith, as I see these wonderful brothers and sisters that inspire me, I would like to thank Mercy Mission and my team members, for your excellence. By Allah, I have seen excellence in you all. In your sleepless nights, in your precision execution of your tasks, in your selflessness, in your care for the guests that have come, in your care for all these wonderful people who I love for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here in the audience. I thank you all for this excellence and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from you truly I have no words except to say that your rewards are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala insha'Allah. And I also extend from this podium a hand of gratitude to this beautiful country Malaysia for allowing me safe passage and the chance to enjoy the Malaysian hospitality, masha'Allah. And I thank you all my dear brothers and sisters, my dear fathers and mothers, as I said, I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's been a dream of mine to come and meet you all again. Believe it or not, this is my fourth trip to Malaysia. It's been a dream of mine to come meet you all again. Jazakumullah khairan for attending and lending me your attentive ear. And I pray that Allah makes this gathering one which hears a good word and follows it. And last but not least, and we leave the best for last. I extend thanks to my dearest parents and my special spouse and wonderful children for their patience and support in allowing me to do what I do with great application. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve us all in his obedience and make us from the thankful. Ameen. I love you all for the sake of Allah, my dear brothers and sisters. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make this gathering of ours a last. I ask him to gather us many a time in this world before gathering us underneath his arsh on the day of Qiyamah, before gathering us in Jannah with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Ibrahim alayhi salam, so we can sit together and discuss with them one fine humid afternoon in Malaysia where we sat together in a wonderful venue discussing the lessons from the lives of these prophets and the importance of being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything correct said is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's perfect and any mistakes are from myself and shaitan and I seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Hada wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Assalamu alaykum.